germ. That's what our sign is. Uh, my real name is Jeremy Nell, 34, and I am a cartoonist. Um, Pink Panther, Daffy Duck, you know, the Warner Brothers, the Merry Melodies and Looney Tunes that we all, all grew up with. Um, mostly like sort of TV cartoons, actually. Not, not so much, I mean, Asterix, for sure. Um, but mostly the stuff that we all kind of grew up with as a, as a kid, you know? It's been a roller coaster, absolutely. Um, because the newspaper industry is dwindling. Newspapers are, are, are dying slowly. And as a result, cartoonists are, because all the spaces are, are taken up. So I've had to uh, create new roads for myself, and that's been largely around sort of the internet and digital media. I'm a freelancer, so I do various kinds, various genres. I cross over various genres of, of cartooning, from, from political satire to strips to uh, gag cartoons. I suppose looking for acceptance still among readers and peers, um, and as well as continuing to feel confident about what it is that I do. You know, the moment, the moment you do, you're only as good as your last cartoon. And if your last cartoon is a bit weak in your own eyes or, or in the reader's eyes, it can knock your confidence a bit. And so it's, it's always about, if you fall off the horse, you've got to get back on again. And it's never letting that break you down. It's, it's like a permanent fight against confidence and, and, and security. I think when I, when I got my, when, when, when I got my very first uh, cartoon published, uh, that for me was a big deal. The very first time it was in a newspaper, it felt like I had achieved something that was major. The, the first newspaper that published, um, uh, officially published my, my work was the Natal Witness. Incidentally, who still published my cartoons today. They published a, a, a comic strip and I was still um, trying to make a living out of being a cartoonist. So. When, when the editor let me know that he was keen, I, I, think, I, I think I must have just had a few drinks, you know, for too many, because I was very excited. It was a great moment. I felt like a massive hurdle had been jumped. When I won my first award was the second big moment in my career when I, when I figured this was it. I, I'm now following my dream. I was being recognized by important people. It was, it was an incredible feeling, uh, it, it genuinely was. I felt that I, was, I had done the right thing, you know what I mean, if that, if that makes sense. I, I, had, I had achieved what I was trying to, to get, was, was credibility and integrity. I think people take me too, too seriously. The whole point of cartooning is to, is to make reality absurd. And sometimes people don't realize that and they take it too seriously and they think that you um, are deliberately trying to be hurtful or insulting or offensive when you're not. Satire is, is not, it's often perceived as negative. You look for the worst in the situation, but if you think about it, satire is actually very positive. You don't mock things that are excellent. You, you mock, you make fun of mediocrity because you want it to be better. You don't mock um, brilliance. You know, you, this, there isn't anything funny about something that is succeeding, but there's plenty funny um, when something is failing or, or not meeting your expectations. And you, you, you're trying to point that out because you want it to be better, which to me is a very positive yeah. outlook. I suppose ultimately my opinion, um, or the way I look at the world, I'm not necessarily trying to change people's minds, I'm not trying to change the world. I'm simply, first and foremost, I'm enjoying myself, I'm entertaining myself, and by extension, hopefully entertaining those reading it. If it was purely about myself and I, and I wasn't interested in the readers, then I wouldn't attempt to get it published or put it online so that people could read it. I would exhibit it purely to myself around my house. But it is, it's, it's an it's a, it's a interaction with the readers. So it is about also trying to find it is find what it is that the readers would be entertained by and finding the, the middle ground of what I enjoy and what the readers enjoy. It is about that, definitely.